if we're not pulling back a little bit more by like Monday, Tuesday, 50-50 probabilities take over, so even. And if we don't, if we, if we go continue, let's say until Wednesday, Thursday, then you gotta start. Hello everyone, renowned market strategist Gareth Soloway breaks down the latest financial news, from stock market movements to crypto developments and macroeconomic shifts. In this video, Gareth analyzes key trends shaping the markets, provides real-time insights, and shares actionable strategies to help you stay ahead. Whether it's inflation data, interest rate updates, or crypto price swings, Gareth's expert analysis gives you the edge you need to make informed decisions. Stay tuned for his predictions and trading tips. Subscribe now, hit that bell icon, and embark on an enriching journey toward financial success. Let's unlock the potential of these markets together and pave the way for a brighter financial future. Welcome aboard. All right, let's look at Bitcoin here. Bitcoin is trading just under 90,000. Remember, if we look at the chart here, the trend line that I have been giving you guys all week for resistance, connecting the two highs of 2021, and that gave us this trend line. As of now, Bitcoin is respecting that line. Now, if we go to the big board here, there's a couple things we have to watch for. All right, so again, just because it's respecting it doesn't mean it can't break through. One of the things I'm keeping a close eye on is what pattern that Bitcoin is making. All right, so you have the big up move, which would be a flagpole, right? So here's your flagpole. The question is, do we continue to go like this into next week, maybe into Tuesday, Wednesday of next week? If that happens, what is that forming? It's forming what we would refer to as a bull flag, right? Bull flag formation here, okay? And that would be something that would then start turning the bias from resistance and a pullback to resistance with a bullish consolidation, which would start to shift probabilities to the upside. So right now, probabilities still favor a little downside, but the more we go sideways, the more those probabilities start you know, losing the, 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 the probability of downside and going more towards 50-50. I would say if we're not pulling back a little bit more by like Monday, Tuesday, 50-50 probabilities take over, so even. And if we, don't, if, we, if we go continue, let's say, until Wednesday, Thursday, then you got to start favoring that up move. So again, these are the ways that a technician looks. So many people say, oh, well, Gareth was bearish, so he's always bearish. No, that's not the case. The charts tell me they literally, I'm, I'm looking at, like, imagine this was in a language that you don't understand or I don't understand. My job is to translate and learn that language and figure out what it says. And these charts are telling us something. This is a language of charts and technicals and patterns and price and factors. And our job, again, is to decipher what it is saying. The more we read, right, more we read, more candles form, the more insights we get into what, the, what it's really saying. Is it saying it's going to drop? Is it saying it's going to pop? Or is it saying it's going to go sideways? So little things like that. Again, super important to learn this stuff, guys. It is game-changing in your financial future. And again, it does seem daunting at first. But remember, everything seems daunting at first. This is the one thing. Like if I had to tell someone that was young, I would say put time and effort into learning how to read charts. Um, because number one, most people make emotional decisions. This takes away the emotion. And it literally ha will have the biggest impact on your financial future going forward. Education, guys. Education is so important when it comes to financials. Um, and that includes technical analysis. All right, gold's chart. Let's take a quick look at gold here. Gold is getting a little bit of a bounce. You guys know we had come into support here. I nibbled on a little GDX. I had a little uh, nibbled on some Newmont mining uh, at this technical level. We covered our shorts on gold, obviously, in my commodity service, and we are getting a little bit of a bounce. Not a big bounce, but again, my guess is at minimum, we trade back to this low pivot. That would be your, your lowest bounce candidate. Your, your decent one would be the midpoint of the channel, the dotted line. You can see how this dotted line works beautifully right here, here, and here. So that would be your midpoint. And then your best case scenario would be back up here. I'm not leaning, I, I almost never go with the best case scenario, right? So in general, I go with the more mid to low end because those are the ones that the probabilities favor the most as getting bounces too. You know, yes, we can all swing for the fences, right? We can always try to hit that home run. But when I try to swing for the fences and hit home runs, I often strike out. Naturally, I'm going to strike out one way or the other every so often. But I want to be a Hall of Famer that hits singles and doubles home run hitters. And for those of you that follow baseball, or you could, it's applicable to uh, all, all sports. But when you just go for the biggest one, oftentimes you miss, you strike out. And that in financial investing is not a good thing. All right. 
Next up, oil. Oil's not doing much here, guys. Again, oil's been kind of a non-event for now a few weeks. It's just been hovering on this level. The big thing is, remember the $65 level. If that ever breaks, watch out below. I didn't touch on silver, but I'll quickly touch on silver for you guys. Silver's also getting a little bit of a bounce. Still has not come low enough for me to want to nibble just yet. Although I, I think I told you guys earlier this week, I did nibble on palladium. Palladium, again, came into my support number two. I even added to the position yesterday, so I am long palladium uh, as it's starting to bounce here beautifully this was support number one got break took taken out and then support number two appears to be holding and starting to get the bounce there lastly natural gas here guys just looking at natural gas it continues to pull back uh, again just to go back to the big board for this last one this is important guys so you guys know I talk about a confirmed breakout or a confirmed breakdown over and over again this is another great example of what we would call a fake out whether it's institutional money faking out retail, I don't know. But the point being is that here's your high, here's your high, and here's your high. Most people look at this chart and say, oh, on this day it broke out. I know better than that. I learned the hard way, and this is why I came up with the confirmation signal that's taught in the Winning Trader series. But the idea is you really need to see a close above and then a conf confirmation candle to really solidify. Because so often this happens. In fact, I could find a dozen charts in a matter of minutes where you have breaks of trend lines and people will think it's a breakout, so the shorts cover, right? They, they're like, oh my goodness, this is breaking out, I gotta cover. And the longs are like, oh, I gotta jump on board and buy. They, they, you know, they put more money in or they buy their first position. And then what happens? Boom, right back to the downside. And that again, when you get a confirmation candle, when you confirm a breakout or a breakdown, the odds go from this right here is probably 50-50 at best. And, and none of us should ever be investing if it's 50-50, right? What we should be doing is going to the casino with our buddies and at least, at least we have about 50-50 odds and we can have some fun and get some free drinks, hopefully. Um, if you're investing, you want those odds in your favor heavily. And that's why you have to know that confirmation signal. So again, classic case of them pushing it above the breakout level and then just pulling it back. Those people that bought long, now they're underwater. The people that stopped out are now cursing because they got stopped out and it's now going in their direction. That's the way it works, all right? So again, gotta learn these techniques, guys. The confirmation signal is, again, the thing that I use probably on a daily basis the most in terms of technical analysis to kind of keep me in line of knowing what a real breakout is or breakdown versus a fake out. All right, so this is where we closed yesterday, right here, right? So we are trading down in the pre-market about 30, just under 30 points on the S&P 500 as the selling continues. And again, this is a combination of worries about tariffs, uh, worries about a market that is overvalued at valuations that really rival, rival all-time highs in terms of valuations. And also just a matter of, you know, are we seeing inflation beginning to tick up, right? We had the PPI data yesterday. It showed a little bit of an uptick. These are all issues that could come to the forefront in 2025. And it does seem like there's a little bit of profit taking going on after the big rally. So S&P is trading lower on the day, 25 to 30 points. If we flip over to the daily chart here, you can see again, we had our wedge pattern. And remember when we broke the wedge pattern, this is what formed, right? This was a little bearish pattern. We dipped and then you had the election, which really rescued the market because it was looking like we were beginning to head lower. And then you had this blockbuster uh, result. There was no um, kind of questioning the results. It was, it was, there was no violence. There was no of these other issues. And ultimately the market saw that massive move up. Problem is it slammed back into technical resistance, right? And so we had the kind of small pullback days, the bigger pullback day yesterday. And again, today we're looking like we're gonna see more downside. Now, if you're looking for where the technical support is going to be, it's going to be at the former pivot high right here, right? So as you go up, these are the levels you watch. That's your flat top, and then it pulled back here. That becomes technical support. So if we do sell off here, this again would be that level. It's actually right at this low, right around 585 on the SPY uh, on today. And that again will be a level that I watch for potentially a day trade opportunity for a technical bounce. Now, if that level gets broken, let's say we take out this level here, we then start talking about gap fill and low here. The biggest thing I'm gonna be watching for folks, and again, I said this even before, when we were down here, we talked about this level, is what you do is you go back to the previous highs, right? So you wanna look and see, do you start making lower lows and lower highs? So right now we have all higher highs, right? Again, you can very clearly see this, right? Up, 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 and up. All right, right now you have a low, a, here's a still a higher low, right? So it came down here. So you have low, higher, low, 
if you come down and make a lower low, right, if we make a lower low down here, that's where you have to start wondering, is the trend changing or are we going to see a bigger correction than just this kind of little, little small rolling hills on the way up the mountain, okay? So again, little things that I'll be watching over the next couple weeks in the market as we get into the holiday session. Now, just looking at the NASDAQ 100 real quick here, the NASDAQ 100, just like the S&P, ran into some big resistance, right? So we had this high from 2021, the high from July, and here we are, and you can see again, this is not including what's going to happen today. So this isn't reflecting, this is from yesterday, but but again, we should be opening down here a little bit and we'll see what we get on the weekly chart. Thank you for watching the interview highlights of Gareth Soloway. If you enjoy this highlight video, please kindly subscribe and help share this video for us to share more of this valuable content. Thank you.